I want people to know who I am, but I don't. You know, I want to remain a mystery and I want to pop out at times. I want my name to be a household name and it to be, you know, respected and appreciated. But not only my name, but me as a person. I'm genuine. I want that to carry on more than my football. Football isn't going to be here forever. And it's going to come down to what kind of person you are. I was one of those people that was off the porch when they were super young. I was 12, 13, hanging out with people that was 15, 16. I looked older than what I was and then I acted accordingly. You know, my dad taught me a lot before he passed away. Him cheering me on in Little League, just to be like, all right, yeah, you made a play, but what would he do? Like, nobody really cares that much. You know, how many plays can you make and how consistently can you do it? That's where I kind of got that drive to be like, all right, one thing isn't enough, two isn't enough, and consistently being great is a habit. Losing a father, you have that moment of not having a guidance, making some bad decisions, and I didn't make some of the best decisions, but I learned from them. So for me, I took that and I ran with it. My tattoo journey started with my dad. I had like a cross with his birthday and when he passed away, that was my first tattoo. I was so thankful for it. I actually got it in a friend's basement at a tattoo party for $25. Even when I look at my tattoo now that covered it up, I forget that the new tattoo's there just because I had the cross for so long. You know, that's something I'll never forget. I got on my right chest, I got my own man. That's something my dad tried to instill in me as far as like being your own man, being your own person. Just be a leader, you know? Part of being a leader is being yourself. Even kids nowadays, I can imagine how hard it is to find someone that you can trust and someone that you can trust that believes in you but doesn't necessarily want anything from you because I don't trust anybody. Building trust is the number one thing, and if I can trust you, I'll run through a wall for you. My sophomore year, I broke my ankle. You know, in the back of my mind, I was saying, I'm going to the league, I'm going to the league. And that was something that was constant in my head. So when I broke my ankle, I'm like, this damn, like, I ain't gonna be able to play my sophomore year. Like, this is gonna mess with my junior year. And if I could have got paid or I could have been in a situation to make some profit off of my name, my likeness, I would have been better off than I was then because that could have been the end of the road for me. I was in the darkest place I've ever been because I felt invincible up to that point. And I just wake up out of my sleep, like bursting in tears because it was so painful. It did help me up to where I am now and understanding people and, you know, appreciating where I am. Some people can look at my tattoos and say, what is that? And for me, I kind of like dabble in a little bit of everything. I want them to be a representation of me. I have a clear understanding, like I'm the GM of my life. I don't have to know everything or be an expert, but I do have to know enough to where I can hold a conversation. I read the book, The Alchemist. It was a book that I felt like translated to my life, you know, and trusting your gut, trusting your instincts. Not necessarily having it all figured out, but figuring it out as you go. Starting to figure out what I'm gonna do off the field. What do I have interest in? What do I like? You know, I've always been in the fashion, I've always been in the clothes, figuring out a way to go into business with somebody, opening up a store, control the buyers and the things that I like and the clothes that I like. It's easy for me to attach to something of people who care about it. If somebody cares about something and they're passionate behind it, like, uh, I get inspo from that. Even the girl with the balloon, it's like, oh, there's always hope. And for me, that's like, damn, that's part of my life story. Like, I always had hope. Like, I didn't know for sure it was going to work out, but I had hope it was going to work out. We grew up Kobe fans. We grew up Lakers fans. Kobe was my favorite player, one of my favorite athletes, if not my favorite. He was always passionate. He fought through the major injuries. He was an athlete that we all missed dearly. I finally got to get my tattoo to pay my love and pay my tribute to him. When I'm planning for a tattoo, I see the artist, we'll bounce a couple ideas off each other. But I'll get like six, seven tattoos at a time. It's a pain you love. The finished product is everything, but the process is even better just because it's like, you're going through a lot to get this. It's definitely something that I'm like, all right, man, I need that pain at least once a year and I'm fine. I got a rose from my mom. I was like, yeah, I got a rose for you. She's like, boy, I don't care about no tattoos. Once I lost my dad, I only had my mom. And she saved the day plenty of times. You know, right or wrong, my mom always had my back. I love my mama. She's my superhero. I also wanted to open up a shelter for women and children. Affordable living for them would be amazing. You know, just to have somewhere to go and have somewhere to, you know, that they trust and they're safe. People don't protect them. You know, people don't stick up for them. When women, damn, they run the world. My dad always called me a soldier, especially in football. Like, I'd fall on my knee or fall on my cell and I hurt myself, and he'd be like, you're a soldier, get up. And I didn't even know how tough soldiers really were until I got older. I got sacrifice because your life is built off of sacrifices. I got the Malcolm X tattoo with knowledge is power underneath, and everybody know Malcolm X was a knowledgeable person. He spoke with good intentions. So I always want to learn. I'm always trying to educate myself. I never feel like I know it all. All my little reminders are stuff that I can always look back on like this. You got this for a reason, don't forget about it. I've been getting tattoos forever, you know. When I found out about Mad Rabbit, it was more so like, I gotta have something that's gonna work well with my skin and something that's gonna soothe my skin. 
Mad rabbit suit in jail. Definitely I applied it earlier right after I got one of my tattoos and it made my skin feel good. It seemed like it calmed it down a little bit. I'll definitely be using Mad Rabbit Balm pre-game, get my tattoos popping, and having a balm that you can reapply and your tattoos look good as new, that's perfect for me.